A wave crashes on the bow of your ship, which groans under the weight of the storm. Ahead, the mist begins to clear. What's that? A cyclopean structure rising from the waves. It appears just as it did in your dreams. They told you you were mad, but no, you are right to go on this mystery quest. Welcome everybody to Call of Cthulhu, The Disintegrator. Last time on Mystery Quest. While spending their first night at the White Point Hotel, our investigators accidentally kill one of their fellow guests. Now at breakfast, they try and avoid rousing suspicion as they await the demonstration of The Disintegrator. Who else is here that's that's new? Uh, so you can see sort of like a... Uh foxy, vulpine-looking man walk in uh, with this, like, real slick hair. Um, he's quite thin. Um, really elaborately dressed. And uh, he's got kind of, like, this sort of, like, thug-looking fella with him. Hmm. Uh, if you've been around, you would might you would read this guy with him as uh, someone who's in the game kind of thing. Uh, he's a... Uh, Wait, what's Co- that he's a connected in man. The game. He's mafia. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like a pickup artist. Yes, I know you meant as well. You notice he's put some lint on your shoulder, and he's negging you a lot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they do. Is that a strap of lint on the shoulder? That's a thing. That's oh. the thing that they do. Oh, there's something on you. Sorry, Kino. That's what it's called. Kino. It's an excuse to touch someone. And but also... But there's, why is there chocolate on my shoulder? Chocolate? <laughs> 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 chocolate on your shoulder. <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's over there, uh, and you can see the sort of... Um, oh, Lynn, as in Oh, Lydia. my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lydia, oh my God. Ellery. <laughs> <laughs> Why you went to chocolate? Why is, there, why is there a limp bunny on my shoulder? <laughs> chocolate balls on my shoulder. I can't work out why they would be like, there's a limp chocolate on my Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Who oh. hears lint and goes straight for the fancy chocolate? That fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, so you can see uh, this sort of gangstery looking fellow. Uh, and uh, there's also this sort of like kind of stuffy looking professor uh, walks in as well. It's kind of he's wearing a tweed tweed jacket, and he's probably going to speak a little like this <laughs> nice. if you ever talk to him. Yeah. So you've kind of milled around. You sort of chatted and introduced yourself to these people. Hobnobbed. Uh, you have met this this character, Doctor William Walker, who was the professor. Willie Walker. <laughs> Willie Walker, <laughs> who. Uh, was incredibly dull, um, uh, boring, boring guy. Uh, he works for the Massachusetts Power Company. Oh, oh. God. and he is intrigued by this. He uh, might have been a former student. This yeah, device, uh, and then the other character you've met is Pedro Morosani. Ooh, Pedro. Pedro. That's Spell it however you want. <laughs> <laughs> or just call me Mr. Morasani. Peter. Peter. Peter Morasani. What is his accent? Peter Morasani. It's this ambiguous accent. Okay. <laughs> it sounds exactly like this. <laughs> Peter Morasani. Is he the, the foxy guy you said? He's the, the foxy guy. Foxy guy. And this is my business associate, Russo. Russo. I love that that tune <laughs> that I play it all the time. <laughs> uh, but all of a sudden, the clocks chime six. Bing bong. And you are taken out to the garden where there is seats set up for all of you. And the pelfries wheel out and set up the device. Uh, Otto's in the window, yes? Yeah. Okay, what so- are you doing? <laughs> It does look like doing the crank. Schmutzy gets excited. (laughs) How are you doing that? I'm just rocking my legs. Oh, thank God. (laughs) Anyway. Jesus. You can't just. (laughs) It's very distracting. It's not me, it's Schmutzy. He's a naughty dog. It's lipstick. Sorry, good boy, Schmutzy. Calm down, Schmutzy. As the setup for the demonstration has begun, 
Uh, where, where are you guys? I'm in the, my room. Mm-hmm. Cranking the camera. It's a camera ready for the old cranking. Okay. But gotta wait for the shit to start, otherwise it's just a film of a garden. So once okay. they begin the demonstration, mm-hmm. so we get it on film. Great. And the rest mm-hmm. of you, are you going out to watch what, the demonstration? I'm gonna go watch. Yeah. I want to see it up close. I'm going to watch, but I'm going to stand a bit further back because I'm a bit, a bit scared of this machine. <laughs> okay. I'm I want to get in my seat. So there's a semicircle of chairs right. uh, sort of sat, all looking directly at this uh, this giant stone statue. And uh, the Pelfries, with the assistance of these <clears throat> kind of like two laborers that they brought with them, have uh, set, up, set up this device. And it does look a bit like a big sort of old-timey camera. Um, there is uh, sort of cogs and cables, uh, like belts on it. Mm-hmm. They fire up a generator uh, next to it. Has and it clearly got something pointing in a direction? Yeah, there's definitely sort of a lens looking mm-hmm. in a direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Wade is there. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the demonstration of a lifetime? Yeah, We're going to show... Yeah. Show you the power of the disintegrator. I know there's a few skeptics among you, but I promise you, this is the genuine thing. And we will hopefully be selling this for a real great price later on this evening. Just to remind you, we'll be doing rounds of closed Mm. bidding and we will be selling this object today. Are you ready, everybody? Yes. Take take it away, George. Ready. George is sort of handling this device, using it a little bit like a, a camera, and he has got like a big deliberate sort of, uh, it almost looks like the sort of handle that you would have had in a World War One machine gun on the back of it. And almost a little underwhelmingly, he, he just presses the button on the back and just a beam of light comes out the front. It doesn't look that much better than just a handheld electric torch uh, that did exist at this time. Yeah. Flashlight. Was it a, is it just white light? It's sort of like a- Intense white light. Like it's not, you would not describe as intense. It is just, this light comes out and it shines, shines on the statue and just kind of dissipates. Um, A few seconds later, where the light touched this statue, just crumbles to dust. Just, it just disappears and the whole statue comes collapsing down. As that falls through the light, that also just gets vaporized. It's not making a loud noise outside of the cracking and falling of the stone, but this thing has genuinely vaporized that statue. There's there's gasps, there's claps. Uh, Looking around, you can see the reactions of the other people and there's nodding, satisfaction, uh, there's genuine surprise. So what was behind the statue didn't get blasted? It's just focused on that point, disintegrates. It, so behind that, it just goes out into the, uh, you, you're just looking out at the coastline from there. Uh, but it has absolutely vaporized it. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the genuine artifact. See, where there once was a statue, now there is none. Uh, now, I can see maybe some of you, you haven't quite had all of your uh, skepticisms quashed. If you'd care for a second demonstration, you can choose whatever you'd like and we'll put it right in front of this. Anything you want whatsoever. Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing, mister? <laughs> how can I help? Try and tidying out the dust that's left. Right know. away. <laughs> he goes, uh, brush. <laughs> yeah, where this giant statue was once before. Uh, there's only a tiny bit of dust. It mostly got just totally vaporized. Just disappeared. Okay. Um, hey, what have we, we got? Can... Oh, was he really good? I mean, we actually can have them shoot we... Gabe. Shoot no! Him, no. <laughs> He's um, our alibi. You've already got one body under you. And not in a sex way. <laughs> in a murderer way. A murder which can way. also be a sex way. But let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll move on past that. <laughs> um, <laughs> anything, anything you want displayed whatsoever? What about my flat cap if I toss it through the light? Uh, So the thing is, like, not on at the moment, but they're like, we can do your flat cap immediately. Uh, 
Pelfrey kind of fires up the machine. He cracks a thing. Sparks are flying out of it. And where the light is shining, the flat cap goes into it and just it. and it just turns turns to dust. Does it? Does like dust sprinkle down? Like Some it, dust kind of sprinkles down, but the rest it just is mostly gone. What, what about, about a conservatory <laughs> over there? <laughs> uh, what's his name? Uh, what is the name Gardner? of the guy? Gardner. Oh, oh no, no, we can't use the. No, I just a possibly. part of it. No, I, I can't allow that. You can't disintegrate my conservatory. We've what about already... something alive? Get you... a chicken or something. Sure. Chicken? Have we got a live chicken? What about... Schmutzy, how close are you to Schmutzy? No! <laughs> also, you're up in the window. <laughs> are you shouting down? No, no, no. no, no. Sorry. What about a chicken? <laughs> Perhaps a chicken would look good on film. Hey, who said that? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Um, what if there's like a butterfly or something? <laughs> <laughs> just floating about. A butterfly. Yeah, so there's a sort of garden, why not? You wanna you want something alive? <clears throat> yeah, we could do that. And they sure they bring out a chicken. They were gonna have a delicious roast chicken for dinner. Mm. And yeah, they put it on a tiny little lead. Oh, <laughs> oh. And well, you were going to eat it. <laughs> well, I mean, this is different. We can't eat it if it gets disintegrated. That's okay, true. just to demonstrate all of the things this thing can destroy, they fire it at the chicken. Exact same result. It <gasps> turns to dust. What happens if you aim it at the ground? George Pelfrey is like, Oh, if we can't demonstrate too, too much more, but I promise anything that the light touches will be fully disintegrated. Uh, it has a range of... Uh, approximately 30, 30 feet. Aim it at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> you think the planet's going to disappear? <laughs> no, uh, they'll make a hole. They, they sure, they, they fire this machine up again. Sparks crackling, belts are whirring, the generator is just like pumping, pumping out some smoke, and they begin to slowly arc the beam down and where it touches the ground. For a split second, it's there, but it just starts cutting like a furrow into. Yep, this is the real deal. The deal. <laughs> yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the concluding our demonstration this evening. This is the end of the demonstration. Now we'll be holding the bids very soon, and so please dig deeply into your pockets. Are our pockets going to be deep mm. enough? Uh, George Pelfrey and his uh, his wife they begin kind of. Uh, covering us up with their two two workers, and after a few minutes, it's kind of. I'm gonna now that they finish the demonstration, I'm gonna come back down. Come yeah, back down. yeah, mm. okay. You've got. I'll be like, sorry, I'm late. Did I miss anything? Silly. No. no chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you missed like, the presentation. Yeah. But don't worry, we'll fill you in. Don't worry. Um, you have the shits again. Yeah, <laughs> you know it that was shits. that. It shits. was that strong enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do about this machine? Mm. We have to get it, but we can't outbid these guys. They were going to bid a fortune. We only have six thousand dollars. We don't have enough, do we? I'm not spend my money on this. Can How long have we got? Is it dinner first, and then the first round, or? Uh, it's yeah. You're gonna have dinner, and then it's the first round. What but... if we smash the machine? Destroy uh, it. We could just break it in my ears. Well, we don't know what light it would unleash. Where are they is the machine still stood out there, or are they? No, they've it? sort of uh, packaged <clears throat> back onto sort of a luggage trolley, and the, it's being wheeled back into the conservatory where it was being held before. I mean, okay. it's on wheels. Um, I mean, if we can't buy it, we can't let anybody else get it. We can take so it. we must destroy it, or take or it, or steal it. How do we steal something as big as that when it's been guarded all the time? Mm, Tied to your car. We got guns. Take a hostage. Oh my god. Uh, Paul, <laughs> at the stage, Paul Gardner's like, please, um, please, uh, head into the uh, we'll we'll be having having a quick quick dinner and then having bids. Uh it's getting a bit nippy out. Uh you can notice like there's a real like thick fog beginning to mm. sort of approach from the <clears throat> shore. Uh mm. it's probably nothing. Probably it's just a light, a light fog. Yeah. Yeah. This time of year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Autumn. Nothing suspicious. No. No, it's fine, it's but the everyone, the fish everyone man are definitely suspicious. coming to get the camera back. The fish man. It's always the fish man. Everyone is getting beckoned uh beckoned inside and you 
are all like sort of settled down in there to be served a delicious stroganoff. Well, it was going to be chicken, Another wasn't stroganoff. it? But they uh, killed the one chicken well, that they were going to serve for everyone. One chicken, chicken for everyone. <laughs> one chicken. No, there's a, a delicious, it's, you know, a great, great meal, a spread put on. It's um, the guy, is the man at the table with us, old uh, George Pelfrey? Uh, George Pelfrey is kind of sat, uh, sat with his wife. Uh, can you give me a spot hidden roll at them? Anyone. Uh, well, anyone who's like paying attention to him. I'm not paying attention. 69. I'm bugging it up. Nice. 63. I'm looking. Go on, lids. Oh, 80. Oh, oh I'm not really bugging that. I can't even one. see Pelfrey, let alone anything else. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, you, George Pelfrey is off to one side with his wife. Um, they're kind of looking around. You can. Oh, he looks really nervous. He looks really. But. You're, you would put it down to he just wants this auction to go well. We need to figure out what to do. What the bloody hell do we do, chaps? Well, should we sit down, have a bit of food, and talk it over? Yeah. But immediately yeah. after the food, it's the bidding. So night is kind of coming in now. The sun sun is sun is basically set. We don't want to rouse too much suspicion. They'd be they'd be a bit curious if we don't eat. Our Maybe one of us has to sneak off to the conservatory. Yeah, and try and. Are we going to sabotage, sabotage it? Well, since I'm already in for murder, I may as well be in for sabotage as well. In for so penny, in for I pound. Could go do that. I could disguise myself <laughs> mm. yes. as is a it? laborer. Is there the chance for me to disguise myself as not Dr. Otto von Gruber, but just one of the lads that was helping out with the thing? So that any casual look would just see me as a member of staff hey, rather if you, than a if you Otto. roll real good but with that being like a brown trench coat so yeah anything uh, just, yeah they're <clears throat> sort of they have overalls yeah, and kind of uh, trench coat type things uh, these my, two my little box of tricks and disguises yeah you can have a rummage around there's a uh, hup. Scheiße, 89, bro. 89. This disguise is no good. Like, looking around, you just cannot find anything that you think would convince people that you are those guys. Because this hotel has this absolute tiny, tiny crew. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, fuck the disguise, and I'll just I'll just go out there and see. Where... So into the into the conservatory. Yeah. These these two uh these two fellas are uh basically guarding this. They're in the conservatory with this device. Um, as you head through, you can definitely uh, Pelfrey and his wife kind of they've got eyes on you as well. Uh, you can see they're super nervous about this. Do we need to cause a distraction? Yeah. Just having another look at the machine <clears throat> and seeing how it's powered, you know. Does uh, the does the generator come with the machine? Uh, Wade quickly comes in. Hey, uh, any questions about the machine should hopefully have been answered already. Please, if you uh, if you need any intel whatsoever, you I can just give that to you right here. You don't need to be uh, be ah oh, okay, be with my the bad. Machine. Sorry. It's being kept of under course. under guard until bidding has been completed. All right, well I'll come back. Then. Uh, right, but so. yes, you will get the generator. It will you'll get the full device as as it stands working right now. Uh, the painting will be yours. You can have it all. So they've got it under guard. I look out the window. Is there any more like mist or, or weirdness going Ooh, on out there? Give me a spot hidden. Come on, come on. <gasps> Ninety-four. Ninety-four. We're rolling high. Uh, yeah. We can't um, roll for shit. It no. is like it is thick mist out there. It is really thick. Milky. Like <laughs> mulky. Mm. Uh, <laughs> any strange noises? <laughs> Uh, we'll listen. Can I, any, no, you don't. Like any, you're not no, kind of no. picking up on. Okay. Pick up on anything whatsoever. Uh, so unless you guys have anything you want to do, the clock is going to chime. Are we just going to lug it in there, guns blazing, smash we, the? Machine. No. Okay. We will die. Yeah, but we're going to die anyway. What do you mean? There's a mist. There's a disintegrator, and I'm definitely getting nicked for murder. As far as the mist fine. is just the mist. We don't know what's up with that. And the disintegrator is just going to get bought by someone. We can nab it off them on the way out. We need to yeah. pop in the car and drive home. We're not going to yeah. die. Stop being so dramatic, Otto. That thing was dangerous. <laughs> so okay. what, a, what a drama queen. You've had a delicious meal. Mm, uh, people have been milling around. Okay. Everyone is kind of off in their own groups, all chatting. And the clock strikes nine. And the, the mist outside is real, real thick. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, do we need to um, put a sealed bid in? Yeah, so uh, Wade comes in. He's like, everybody, it's time to submit submit your bids. Well, what we, we could just... You don't have to stuff the money in the envelope. Yes. Just write a big number and see if oh, we... Right. Okay. Let, oh, right. Oh, uh, well, it is yeah. lie. Let's... Uh, oh, how really? much... And, oh, my bloody put, put hell. Put 100 million. Put 100 like million. Hell. Yeah. Uh, With the old uh, lot. <laughs> Let's say 100 Thousand yeah, put a hundred thousand. And a cameo in my next movie. Put uh, that in as well. Yeah, I don't Just put a hundred thousand dollars. No, 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 darling, Archie, no, no one gives yeah. a shit. Put a hundred thousand and one. Yeah, this is uh, ingenious. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, you put your... Uh, uh, yes, yeah, here we go. Put your, your bids uh, there being collected. Um, and then you hear there's like a knocking on the window. Yeah. Like a banging on the window. Ooh. There is this, like tall figure stood outside of the window mm. just like tapping tapping on the glass so the doors that sort of go out into the out into the garden uh, Wade goes over excuse me, excuse me sir what the hell is going on we this is a private affair this is uh this was invitation only and this cat kind of like steps into the light and they're a weird looking dude they are maybe about almost like seven feet tall Jesus uh, he's wearing a black black hat, a long black trench coat, uh, super duper pale, and he leans in and whispers something to Wade. And where uh, Wade was furious, his, his whole demeanor changes. Oh, right away, sir! Right, right away! Uh, come on in, a last minute bid to the auction. You are so welcome to come on in. Uh, he looks at, like the man holds something out. He's got like a bag that he shows to Wade and Wade just beckons him into the room certainly sir please come come and take a seat and this large figure just slowly kind of walks to a corner of the room and just stands there can I use the fact that me and Wade have got a good thing going just be like saunter over I'll be like I'll just I just want to go and ask Wade what's going on here so I, I walk over to, to Wade. Hey, yeah, it's me, Wade. <laughs> Is that a Wade dog? Hey, now? Wade. Uh, yeah. Hello, Wade, old buddy, old pal. How's it going? You enjoying the auction so far? It's great. We're getting, hopefully, getting some high bids in here. Wonderful. Some excellent high bids. Strange mist outside. Bit, bit, bit of a strange weather, isn't uh, it? Completely normal this type of time of year. Absolutely yeah. nothing to worry about. Absolutely normal. Uh, what, 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 what's the story with this this tall fellow who just walked in? Oh, I, I don't, um, I don't know. Uh, he's Here to take part in the auction, and uh, I can tell you, he's got the money to money Uh, to take part. Between you and me, how much money are we talking there, Mister? Oh, jeez, it's uh, well, it's a uh, silent auction, so I don't want to say, but I'm just going to say it's a lot of money. You can tell me, Wade. Doesn't have to be that silent between friends. Uh, give me a super hard. Give me a persuade roll of types. Can it be um? Charm. Charm. I'll take charm. 61. I've got a 60 charm. Fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. He's bidding uh, $150,000 for this thing. Oh, that's, really? uh, but remember, oh. that's just between me and you. And for me, that's chump change, Wade. Don't you worry. Uh, and uh, he heads off. You catch this big, tall, pale-looking character. He's just looking at you and, like, smiling. <laughs> Seems a nice Hello. fellow. <laughs> Seems lovely chap. Is there something otherworldly about this character? Can I do an occult role? You can make an occult role, see. but... I mean, what am I going to learn? Yeah, but you can make a roll. But... It's stupid to not roll, but, well, what have I got? 63. 63. That's the fail. This guy is weird looking. <clears throat> he's just a weird man. He's a weird man. He came out of the mist. He Who travels is tall. by mist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's why I can come back to you guys and be like, so he's going to bid well over $150,000. But he seems very nice and smiley, honestly. So, uh, you know. Who told you nice that? Chat. Yeah, who told you $150,000? How would you know that? 
Wade, my old pal Wade. Of course, Wade's going to tell you he's bidding $150,000. Wade wants you to bid $151,000. Wade's my old pal. He wouldn't do that to me. He's old you, Archie. You've you known him for five minutes. Oh, it feels like I've known him for years. Charlie. No, no, it's not Charlie. It's Archie. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Archie, Charlie. you're so naive, The fact Charlie. is, though, team, we haven't got that money anyway. No, yeah, yeah, indeed, we could bid $100 billion and it's not getting paid. I keep that under your hats, of course. Oh, yes, Shh. Of course. What are we going to okay, do about so the, this mysterious fellow? The what are you guys going to write on on your bid? One hundred and one thousand dollars. That's what we put. One hundred and one thousand. But I, I, we can't. You don't even have one hundred and one thousand. What bloody difference does it make? It <laughs> but a higher number or not? Diet. We've only got seven thousand dollars on us. Six thousand. Six. Oh my God! It gets lower by the minute. <laughs> Just put put one hundred thousand. We make a second round of bidding, maybe, and then we continue from there. Sure. One hundred thousand. I put two hundred two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Oh my God. Two hundred thousand and a little kiss and a smiley face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, uh, they take all the bids in and at the front, uh, the Pelfries are sat with Wade and Wade opens them up and they are all looking up together and, uh, Wade's eyes are just absolute dollar signs as he's going through this stuff and he's just rubbing his hands together and the, the Pelfries are kind of just looking more relieved, uh, especially the, uh, the wife, um. And they're like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it turns out that we have a tie at the moment for <laughs> highest bids at $250,000 as the combined a combined tie. So there will be another round of bidding going on. Another round of bidding. So we've off by 50K. We didn't even make a top bid. Um, 250,000. What are we going to go for next? I mean, we've already been lying a whole bloody bunch. Just, Why stick, we just, just stick a million dollars. We just down. need to get our hands on the disinfectant. Once we've got, you know, we can just write them a check. And exactly. then, you know, well, once they cash it, nothing Just happens. put a fucking million dollars down. Once we've got the disintegrator, we have a disintegrator. <laughs> <laughs> we can just, <laughs> we can oh, just blast our way out of here. Disintegrate them. <laughs> yeah. Great. Oh, great idea. Put uh, 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Well, love that. Does Vanderhoek. that sort of money exist? Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah. So Just say uh, love the Vanderhoods. Well, at one point, I mean, what's your credit rating? Oh, uh, through the bloody roof, 60. It's high, but it's not. 60? I've got fucking 50. I thought <laughs> well, I was meeting a bloody billionaire. I'm supposed well, to be minted. It, you're rich. Although 60 isn't even that expensive. I thought you had 70. I that. should have. I should be much richer than these. I thought no, your you credit had, rating like, is 70. You're oh, 17. I'm looking so at the wrong one. So it does exponentially go up. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. So 70 is, like, you'd be Known times. all over city, known, you know, yeah, all the right stuff. You have good, good money. <clears throat> right. uh, but Potential millionaire for that era? Maybe, but that might be literally everything you own. Okay, but it's worth uh, it for the fucking but maybe. Career, clearly. <laughs> uh, okay, so envelopes are uh, hands down. What am I doing? 1.5 million. 1.5 million. Yeah, just do it. I'm not going to give him my million. It's yeah. just a number. Oh, just a number. Just a bit of paper. Don't we? No, just making sure. No, just not swindling me we'll again, just... are you, Archie? No, no. no. <laughs> no. Right. Not this time. Not again. 1.5 <laughs> million. Smiley face kiss. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just words on a piece of paper. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a contract. Legally binding. It's no, not no. a contract. We're signing it. It's just no. a slip of paper. Because I do okay. like my money. We haven't signed anything, have we? You guys finished writing all of your your bids. And uh, they're being handed in, and Wade begins to open them. And suddenly, you hear a scream. There is a loud mm. scream that comes from sort of the kitchens of, Not of Gabe. this place. Oh, God. It's me, Gabe! Help! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A loud scream. Uh, it's not Gabe. Uh, is it a no, man or a woman's scream? It's the lady, lady's scream. <gasps> it's the wife. It's the, the George Pelfrey's wife. Mm. In the kitchen. No, she sat. She sat in the room with you. Oh, does um, anything happen? Does anyone run for it, or should we? People look around. Oh, uh, as a doctor, what somebody might on? need help. I would run to the sound of the screaming and see what's the problem. Great, you you head in there, and uh, there's a woman looking absolutely aghast. It's one of the uh, the the kitchen porters, and she's like a giant, a giant bat. I saw a giant bat out the window. Oh my god, it was terrible. A giant bat. A giant bat. Where? We're just out there. She I'll points. I'll peer the, out and see if I can spot a giant bat. The door, the door is wide open, uh -oh. uh, and you can see the mist. It's darkness out there. You don't see a giant bat. I will close the door. 
Oh, it was terrible, it was. How big are we talking here? Giant bat could be like this big? Or like, like some kind of Batman. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the Batman is here? Uh, the, yes. Oh, goodness. Well, if you see it again, oh. let me know. Oh, it was terrible, it was. Come and have a sit down, my dear. Oh, please. Have get, a sit get, down get, and then a drink. get her a drink of uh, water and... Uh, Oh, Did Keep she an just, eye out for bats. She just says she saw a giant bat, bat, a Batman. Yeah. That sounds like production quality all over it. I'm gonna go <laughs> grab my camera. That's a great idea for it. I'm gonna, go and, that, I'm gonna go and grab my camera from old Otto's room and bring it down, start getting some B-roll. <laughs> okay, okay. You, have you brought your camera down? Wait, it's up in Otto's room. No, 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 no don't, don't get the camera. It's got the evidence on the officers. Oh. We don't want oh, to. Yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe, maybe can I, well, can I just go up to the room and like, because I, I basically, if there's talk of all this bats and stuff outside, I'm like, I want to get some shots. Yeah. So even if we leave the camera in Otto's room, yeah. give me the key to your room and I'll go up and I'll start filming some, some extra shots. Right, I tell you what, just make sure you take the film of the demonstration, set that aside, put a different I'll stick an O-roll in. There I'm we a go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, so there's like a big disturbance now. People are like, what, a, bat, a Batman? Man bat? <laughs> uh, she said it was a giant bat she saw outside, but... Uh, I don't know. Are you sure, I didn't it, see sure it. it wasn't a moth? It, apparently <laughs> not. It was the it's size a lot of, of a man. Yeah. It was the size of a man. A giant bat. Half bat, half moth. A moth? It looked like a moth. A moth bat. Moth bat. <laughs> it was giant. Giant moth bat. Wait a minute. We've... Sh- this... This machine... Yeah. It shines a light... Yeah. And a moth appeared. What hey, I don't know need... what you guys are talking about. You need to get a giant cup and a, and a, <laughs> a piece of paper. Uh, okay, you're, <clears throat> while this is going on, you're up in the room fiddling with the camera. I'm trying to get some shots of whatever's coming out of the mist if there's some cool cool. Give creatures. me a spot hidden, oh. spot hidden roll. 64, 60 spot hidden. Put some luck on that. Yeah, or can I push it? Can I really film it? You can You can I mean, push it. just not film it real hard. Luck oh, oh sure. It. Yeah, I'll do that. Or push. Either, either you oh, want to what, do. What's the risk Don't of push? push? It's terrible. You roll yeah. again, and if you fuck it up, it gets worse. You destroy the camera. You destroy uh, the film. I have to take Trust a, me. Just take okay. a little bit of luck. All right, I'll do that then. Okay. But like, okay. Lucky so, and, it's, and so sane. Wow. Sorry, It's, carry it's on. because I'm so stupid. Oh, exactly. um, uh, And I've also taken out the roll of film. I've set that aside, and I've put a new roll in. Just okay, so perfect. You know. yeah, yeah. So luck is 76. So I've got a 60, which is just 60. hit my spot hidden. Yeah. Uh, you look out and circling, like it through the mist. It's pitch black out there. Uh, you can see uh, like a bit of bit of moonlight. Yeah. Um, like you don't know what it is, but there are like some little, just twinkling lights, kind of f- f- circling around, uh, dancing around in the mm-hmm. sky. Uh, you. They look too big to be fireflies, but you can't really tell what they are. Just I'm like turning the camera, I'm getting some shots. Okay. Uh, can I get? Can you roll a a film? Yeah, I've got cinematography. Fif- cinematography. I've got well, I've got fifty in my film skill. Yeah. Oh. Seventy-seven. Wow. Not good. Okay, no worries. That's why you <laughs> make flops. Yeah. yeah. yeah this true. this is not a great movie. <laughs> uh, so cutting back to downstairs. Okay, okay, everybody, we're gonna go through these bids. Enough distractions. Uh, they start opening them up, and he's like, "What the? A One point five million? What was the, your bid? One point five million. Yeah. He's just aghast. <laughs> what the hell? The Pelfries are there. <gasps> And oh, they're gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> looking so surprised. Mm. And then they open up the next one. What is this? Some kind of some kind of joke? Who wrote this? The bid? Our lives? He holds oh, it up. God. Well, that means we don't have to pay it. Oh my god for that. What what is, who did this? Who who wrote this down? Um, I wonder if it was the seven foot creepy guy. The creepy guy in the corner, uh, probably. Or the gangster or the, the, the military chap. Probably. Well, the it could be a whole bunch of them, actually. Suddenly so you start hearing like a beep, 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 and the sound of like a car, car coming. Can we see 
headlights and see where they come Yeah, from. out the window you can see uh, headlights uh, coming coming down. In and, the garden? Or? Uh, it's sort of like coming around to the, uh, the, the other side of the building. It's not going oh. through, through where, the garden. Which oh, entrance? heck, sure, why? Why not? Which uh, entrance are they going to arrive at? It starts being long and it kind of like pulls up to the, the garden mm. and uh, Paul Garden's like, what? What the hell is that? It, God, that must be Gabe. Like, he's here to pick up the staff to take them home, but what is he doing out there? That's the lawn. Uh, but the car just is stopped on the lawn. You can just see these bright, illuminating headlights shining towards you. So someone hasn't gotten out. The car's just waiting. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Beep, 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 Can I zoom beep, in on my camera? Did you have a zoom lens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do it, you know, <clears throat> when they have like four lenses on it. So I um, switch to sure. like my long lens. Yeah, you can see see the car and someone's opened the door and they're stood next to next to the car just like waving. Do I recognize them at all? Uh, it's very, very dark in there between, behind the headlights. If you can give me a spot hidden, I'll let you, let you do that. 64. For, well, I could I could knock a bit more luck off. I could do can that. Can I try? You can try. Uh, from where you are? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it might be a harder harder one. 41, so I'm 45. Okay. You you can't exactly tell who it is because of the... There's the conditions. These lights, the fog. Yeah. I would have wanted the hard roll. Uh, well. But there's like a, just a beeping and this figure just like <sighs> waving. What's the tall spooky guy doing? He is still stood in the corner, and he's kind of like looking out, seeing what what is going on. Oh, yeah. This seems to have drawn a lot of people's, right, people's I, attention. Like a I, distraction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we open uh, a door and, and like call out? You you hear hear a voice. Help me! Oh, oh shit! Help oh. me! It's creepy. Help me! I am not going over there. Just saying. Help. Me. Do you think we should go out and help that no. gentleman? Maybe? We have to stay inside. Don't open any of the doors. Yeah, I saw the mist. But Close the doors. <laughs> oh, that's There's not mist been and a moth man. <laughs> help me. Uh, help me. Oh, it sounds like oh, an automaton of some sign winding he's down. Losing his power. Mm. Why don't we all just nip to my car and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> don't want to leave here. We do we... not want to go outside. Why do we get out we of can't, here? Hey, we can't go outside because there's Batman. Oh, and yeah. the mist. Right. And whatever this is. Yes. And we need to get that machine. If this falls oh. into the wrong hands, this mist and all <gasps> this stuff could be everywhere. Wait, I've got it. I've only got a bloody got it. Let's get the machine pointed at these creepy traps and get, disappear them. Get rid of them. Just, one saying help me. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Get rid of all oh, of them. Me. The tall creepy guy, the help me man, the, gets rid of the mafia boss whilst rap. What if using the machine is what has summoned all of this? That's the concern. None of this was here until the machine was turned on and then all this turned up. Uh, I agree. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's always oh, great plan. Great plan. What do we do about this help me guy? Do you want to go out there? Well, I'm, I'm up on high up, aren't I? So I'm like, I, I want to, can I like walk down the balcony and sort of like carefully try and get closer to, I just want to see who he is. Yeah. So what I about down all the, Birdman's binoculars? Well, but he... He Oh, he's is, not, is he's not he at the auction. He's not at the auction. Uh, My lens didn't work. I, I couldn't use that. So I'm just going to get closer. I imagine the balcony goes along the I'll length you, of the hotel. You can push it. Push the yeah, zoom yeah. lens. Yeah, give me another. Give me another roll. Yeah, I re well, yeah. So I'm really zooming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, push the spot hidden. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. That, my spot hidden sixty. Look, okay, from where you are. Oh, it's your old friend Gabe. That's oh. definitely Gabe down there. It's Gabe. It's Gabe. Help me. So I guess at that point I'll leave the camera because I'm the only one who's seen it. And I'll run down and tell these guys, guys, it's it's Gabe. It doesn't sound like Gabe. What's wrong with him? Oh, Whatever that is, that's not Gabe. It's not Gabe anymore. What do you mean it's not Gabe? How can it not be Gabe? It looks like Gabe. Why would it not be Gabe? Go on, Maggie. Go and say hello. I will Don't go. <laughs> I will go. Stay I, here. Maybe I will. I think Don't you're all anyone leave. being quite pathetic. If it's, if you see Gabe, then it's Gabe. Like, uh, you're being absolutely poppycock. I'll go out and say hello. Oh, oh my God. Help all that. Okay. Help me. Right. Yeah, Way, move out the way. I've got my gun with me. I'll be fine. Fine. Just super whiskey. <laughs> right. Very right. brave. Back in a bit, boys. <laughs> uh, yeah, you walk walk towards the car. The engine is still running. The headlights are on. Uh, and 
as you get closer, you can see this is Gabe. He has this like bit of a blank expression on his face and he's just waving, sometimes honking the horn. I have a message for you. What's that, Gabe? You are in grave danger. What? Death. Oh. The spatial annihilation device is not of you. Not within your knowledge to control. Give it to us. Give it to us. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Get, go on, take it. Do not trust those within. You will be spared. Yep, that's bloody, bloody brilliant. Take you it. You will live. Your existence will continue. Danger. Non-primate life detected within. Oh, shit. Ew. Danger. And then he just flops down face forward and uh give me a mm. give me a, a like a spot spot hidden come on 65 what's your 45 you in the darkness something like a long tendril pulls away from the back of his head mm into the darkness and you just see like a shape like move away you can't tell what it is aliens uh and uh i now need a uh a scaredy scaredy check sanity roll 45 what's your sanity 50 50 Woo. uh the entire like back third of gabe's head is missing and Ooh. his just head is empty. There is no brain. There is nothing. He is... Not much change, then. <laughs> oh, 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 this is wow. very funny. Very amusing. <laughs> yes, this is a very good joke. In Germany, we approve of. <laughs> uh, but I'm still sane. I'm still with it. You're still sane. Right. Well, I guess I'd better run back and tell everyone what I've seen and that we need to get rid of this bloody disappearing machine because that's why all these bloody things happening and Gabe's lost Maggie? his head he's lost Maggie, his head yeah, hey. Perry Gabe has lost his head what do you mean they, they he's gone mad no 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 no. his brain is literally missing they are a, a, uh, there was a, a tendril like a big slimy thing and it said uh, it oh it said we needed to give the disappearing machine to them or we were all going to die Okay. Well, that's a pretty high bid. I think. <laughs> Close out the auction, Herr Wade. We must give these creatures a machine or we will all pay with our lives. We, we need to put it out in the open and, and I, I... You, you go and uh, George Pelfrey, he's there like, whoa, whoa. I just need to get into, get into yes. character. <gasps> <laughs> what? A, someone has died. Oh, no. Oh, what have we done? What have we done? Did you know this was going to happen? No, no, please. Uh, his his wife steps in the way, like, you stay back from George. Slapper. This is this is not... <laughs> oh, God. God. Wow, combat. Give it to her, Maggie. <laughs> uh, yeah, make me a... Are you going to slap her? I'm yes. going to slap her. Oh. I've just seen someone's head seems all exploded in the ground. I'm feeling feisty. I'm right down that risky as well. Uh, <laughs> Realise we're going to toss on. Glad I brought my Mauser. Yeah. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Foxy box. Okay. Uh, so we're, what we're going to do is make an opposed <laughs> roll against each other. Uh, I'm going to be rolling. You're going to be rolling. It's brawl v brawl. Right. So she is going to use her brawl against your brawl. Uh, she only has 30 in brawl, but... Knock the shit out of her, Maggie. Brawl, it's nothing. 25. 25. Oh, it's 25, okay. You're even worse than she I'm is. I'm even worse. Right, so we'll get below 25. Uh, ooh. Oh, 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 it's six. Oh, six. Oh, oh, my God. She rolled, a, she rolled a 10. Wow. Oh, you too. No. Uh, Take that, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you <laughs> slap her. And she is, oh, aghast. <laughs> but there is like red in her eyes now. Uh -oh. She is what, like uh, lasers, like lasers. <laughs> Not more fucking lasers. She Jesus. was the laser all along. Oh. Uh, and yeah, you you strike her, and she's just gonna just gonna grab you. Oh. And you guys are now kind of. Wow, I'm just gonna watch. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is how I hope the evening would well, finish. 
while Maggie's tussling, I think I'm going to go over to George Pelfrey. Yeah, he's he's there. He's maybe trying to even help, but he is like a wet paper bag at the moment. He is, has no strength. I grab to... him by the collar. I'm like, what did you do, Palfrey? You kill what did him. you do? Be yeah. careful, you will kill him. <laughs> Please. Shake him very gently. Please. What did you do? Gentle Please. shake. Please, we... Oh, it's not my fault. He just begins breaking down. Spit it out, Palfrey. <laughs> it's not my fault. Whose fault is it, Palfrey? It, the, the, it draws them to us. I just, wa- just wanted to... Do well by my family. Uh, as uh, as that's going on, uh, Miss the the big the big like tall, the oddball, the odd, the non-human character that's in I'm this. I'm picturing him as the Undertaker. Oh. <laughs> Imagine he's a little more gaunt, hmm. taller, and yeah, very covered up what, almost than he was before. Or? Sorry, not taller than he was before. Oh, he's okay. very tall. Sorry, I thought you meant he was like. Growing and getting more gaunt. <laughs> okay. Uh, he begins making his way over to. You are fighting yeah. uh, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Belfry. Belfry. You are in the background. <laughs> you slag! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you know, currently wrestling with George. Uh, Wade is storming over as well. To um, whom? To. Uh, you guys, the Pelfries, are uh, getting accosted. Where's old skinny boy going? He's kind of just beelining through the room towards them as well. Oh, God. Hey, you get your hands off him! This this bit is a mess! We need payment right now! Who wrote this down? Is just shouting at everyone everything that he possibly can. Slap her! <laughs> uh, yeah, the two old ladies. Slap her! <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Oh, this is this is great. Oh, Holly, I'm so glad we decided to come here. It's always so exciting. <laughs> Somehow they're they're just peeking through the window, uh, just having a great, just a great old time. Uh, where where do you want to hop in? Where who wants to do a thing? I guess we can do another brawl brawl with you and um, Mrs. Pelfrey. Oh my god! Oh my god! I I rolled a nine. A nine. A nine. Okay, she rolled a critical fail. <laughs> oh hey! my god! One hundred. Yeah. Uh, do I kill her? You can <laughs> knock her out. Knock you, you her can, out. Snap yeah, her neck. You can do something. You can. All right. So I just, I just, I, I swing back and I say, "Piss off, you." Bloody bitch! And do a massive swing and completely knock her out. Yeah, you just clock her in the jaw. She is just She's completely. Cold. Why are we going for this poor man's wife? Because completely she's out stopping cold. me from talking to that. So you guy. just fucking uh, KO her. I'm, uh, very, I'm going through a lot of stress. Right, this yeah. didn't kill anyone. All right. Neither did I. Right. Well, oh, that's what I, I that's did what not I'll kill anybody. It was what they drank that killed them. I don't know how it got there. I wasn't the one that snuck into the room and stole the suitcase. What? Or smashed the window. That's I didn't do what I And threw up in my room like a dirty boy. I'm giving the game away. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, Dominant Heron, I think we must be aware that there are creatures in the garden asking for this device. And someone amongst us is not what they presume to be. Can we chill pill a little bit, please? Take the uh, temperature in the room down a little bit and stop killing each other and worry about working together. Give me a hard persuade because stuff is being kicked off. People are, Absolutely. everyone is getting up. Everyone is. It's a 40. That's uh, not a hard success. That's just a regular success. Bedlam. People are barely yes. paying attention to you. Uh, All right, George. then I will fire my Mauser in the air. One oh, shot. Oh, Jesus. You go to pull the Mauser from your jacket and are about to raise it in the air, but you are cut off by the very, very distinct burst of a Tommy gun opening fire. Taken care of this. Well, and... Yeah, but they fixed it or something. Uh, Uh, Told you we should have stole it. What's his name? (laughs) We should have stolen Kepler? Kepler. Delton with a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that isn't dead. Delton. With the yeah, uh, yeah, Kepler is stood. He is holding a gun, and Dalton is holding this drum-fed Tommy gun, and has just fired a burst into the ceiling. Okay, now everybody, we gotta cool this off. This is going very awry. Uh, I do believe that ours is the only genuine bid 
that should be accepted. So, Mr. Wade, we shall be leaving with this device right now. We good, are good going luck, to be lads. taking it. Is uh, it so bad, actually, they take it? Yeah. I'll probably just get killed mm. off. Dalton, if anyone tries to interfere, you shoot them. And they start walking towards the conservatory and uh, Dalton with this Tommy gun is just kind of scanning the room, pointing at each and every single person, stopping in turn. Like, and this guy is just absolutely stone-faced as he looks at you. I, don't, I think he knows what he's doing. We don't make any stupid or sudden moves. They need to get this thing out through the mist and whatever was out there controlling Gabe, so... I mean, if they take the device and leave... Just think, let them take it. Why not? <laughs> I think they'll get killed anymore. before they make it 50 yards. Exactly. Who gives a, sh- Who gives a bloody bugger? Or we wait till they are manhandling device. It takes two to do that, and then we jump them. We need to destroy this thing, after all. I don't want the device anymore. I want to no, we've got home. to smash it. Smash <laughs> it into bits. <laughs> Suddenly, as you're having this huddle of a conversation, uh, Kepler and Dalton, who are heading off to the conservatory, uh, you just notice that uh, this tall, tall guy just sort of stood in your midst. Hello, my friends. I'm afraid that the hour draws late and I must away home. Those things out there in the fog, and rest assured, they are waiting for you. In the dark, waiting to slice you up and splay you open like meat on a butcher's slab. They want this pretty toy. And they won't let any of you live if they get it. If However, they, if they get it, or if they don't get it. If if they get it. Oh, Christ! Oh, oh. Damn it! I However, that was I am in a more generous mood. I am going to save you. Walk with me if you're brave enough. But you must bring that pretty toy. And if you do, the rest of you may live. What's more, you'll have gold. So much gold. Bring the device. Walk out into the dark and fear not. The rest won't care about you. Not if we have the machine. I'll take care of the others outside. We're trusting this guy over the air. Think on my offer. But don't take too long. <laughs> Let us just have a little chat and a discussion and we'll get right back to you. He just gives like a little bit of a soft bow and then like sort of shapelessly just walks back into the corner of the room and just is smiling and looking at you all. So that was Batman, right? That's the Batman. <laughs> no. That's yeah. just the tall man. Just yeah, but he arriwhed as the Batman. Because remember, he was here and then she was screaming about that. She screamed not... after he was yeah. here. So wait, whilst he was in the room with us. But is he not associated with the moths and the bats or Must whatever? Be. I think they're different. So are we saying we? that in addition to the mist, there are bats, there are possibly mothmen bats, there, there are, is a tentacle thing, there and are, there's this guy. There are two factions, I think. Well, possibly three, because what about the bats? Where's this giant bat? And there's the things with the tentacles. That there's the tentacle thing that was spring. controlling Gabe that went off into the bushes. There's a bat slash moth thing. And there's this creepy guy. And the mist, which we assume is associated with one of these factions. Ugh. So who do we trust? Do we trust creepy deep voice tall guy with the gold? Do we trust unnamed tentacle creatures that killed Gabe, sucked his brains out, and want the device because we can't handle it? Or Wade and this lad who've got a Tommy gun and no chance, quite honestly, or look for these bat things and just hope that they show up and do something? Um, the bats, let's put the bats to one side. Bats are on the back burner. Okay. We've seen no more of those since the lady screaming. What are we yeah. going to do? Uh, you guys hear a bit of a tussle happening. Uh, some shouts and yells uh, there's another burst of gunfire from the conservatory oh, jeez God. wait aren't we in no you're you're all in the sort of the main dining room and the conservatory comes off all of... what can we see yeah. happening in the conservatory that's resulted in gunfire uh you can see one of the the two uh sort of workmen that was guarding the device is lying on the floor oh the shit. other one has his hands up and uh, that Kepler Dalton. Kepler is oh. kind of now wheeling the device. Why does this lanky lad need our help? 
Why can't he move the machine? He's fucking huge. Maybe he's it's maybe he's pressure. all ethereal and can't actually like touch it or something. Oh. Maybe. Misty. Maybe. He's all misty. <laughs> okay, everyone, you stay back. No sudden moves. Uh, Kepler's wheeling wheeling the machine out. <laughs> he's got his pistol. Uh, Dalton is there just training his Tommy gun. We, sh- we, sh- we sh- shine the light into a mirror and bounce it back on the machine <laughs> and <laughs> kill the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, isn't it, Archie? <laughs> but just, just, yes, just, that's what I thought. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like bounce it back. Yeah, very you know, smart, it's light after all. Very smart. You always wear the yeah, brain. I know. Yeah, I know. It destroys a mirror. Is my only concern with this bouncing the disintegration rate plan? Just a theory, but <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't think about Especially it like that. Stood yeah. there with the mirror. <laughs> the yes, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Didn't think about that. Uh, yeah. Do uh, we just start shooting and hope for the best? I think we just let them take it. It's one way to round this out, but the thing is then, tall man said he'll kill us all if we don't get the machine. Should we ask the tall man what we should do? Yeah, let's ask oh, him. Yeah. Tall man? Tall man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a name, sir? Hello. You may call me Mr. Sleep. Oh. That's creepy. Nice to meet you. Okay. He, oh, as you say that, he, he like, lets out a little chuckle. <laughs> Mr. Sleep, why can't you just get the machine right now? Why do you need our help? I need your assistance. Yeah, why do you need our assistance? I believe the device is moving away. I suggest you help me intercept these men. Um, but how? Yeah, they have yeah. guns and we do not have uh, the guns. I've, I've got a little gun on Yeah, we have little guns. They have big guns. Uh, yeah. You will know when the time is right. Uh, and let me just I will make a dice roll here, which is nothing to do with you. Ooh. He could hand us like bazookas and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just a thought. Uh, Dalton lets out a scream uh, and he drops his Tommy gun. And you can see kind of like, almost like steam coming off of his face and his hands and his eyes have just gone like pure bloodshot and he drops to his knees and he is screaming. Is this is he in the mist at the moment? No, he's kind of like leaving out he's there heading towards the lobby and Dalton drops to his knees and just is screaming and screaming and you can see his face is beginning to blister. Jeez. His hands are beginning to blister. Jeez. Is the machine pointed at him or something? Is this just Uh give me a give me a spot. Give me a something. Uh you know, gotta Hidden here, I'm shit at it, but oh, a seven. Whoa, <laughs> like there is almost like a shimmering heat coming off of Mr. Sleep. Ooh, oh, so he's doing it. He's uh, getting him the old, uh, old yeah. who is absolutely silent. He's just completely ignoring you guys, almost like almost wordlessly muttering something under his breath. Yeah, and he's, okay. come, he's a yes. wizard. He's yeah, a wizard. He is the old, what we call in Germany, a wizard. Uh, <laughs> a z- a Zalbera is Zalbera. A, a wizard in Germany. Oh, well, uh, maybe in your part of Germany. <laughs> <laughs> we call them wizards. Now is your time to make your move. Yep, See. good call, good call. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. throw Pelfrey to the ground and then I run and grab the <laughs> Tommy gun. <laughs> sick old man. <laughs> the I see the Tommy gun on the floor and I run for that to grab it. Okay. Uh, I go towards the machine. Yeah, run towards the machine. Mm, me too. So Kepler is still there. He's pushing the machine. Um, I ooh. Kepler. Do, does Kepler have a freeze? Weapon or does he... He's got. He's got both hands on the machine. Yeah, the he, yeah, he's mm. pushing. Uh, he's pushing a trolley. Uh, his gun is back, sort of uh, in. in well, a I've got. Holster. I've got my mouths are out. He's got the Tommy gun. Kepler, right. don't move. Ooh, make me an intimidate roll. I'm not very good at that. Mm. But uh, 50, so I missed. Okay. Do, do I get, I'm in there as well? Do I get to do it? Uh, if you're running for this thing, I'm gonna just, I'm, oh, I'm gonna want you yet. to make like a dexterity roll yep. as he's going for his gun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Just to see. 89, I Se- fucked it. 73 and my dex is 50. Uh, he's gonna pull his gun <laughs> and just take a shot at you. Oh, uh, at fuck. you, Archie, as you're running like at at him. Yeah, and he has okay. a Tommy gun. Yeah. Well, uh, does, does Kepler have a Tommy gun? Or no, he's just got like a, uh, just a pistol. 
Uh, so he's going to... Getting shot sucks in Cthulhu, by the way. He's going to take a shot. Uh, blammo. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck. Uh, he lets off the shot and it just smashes a, a big glass that is like inches oh. from your head. Okay. He has missed his shot. Uh, he's got, he rolled a 62 if... Uh, you want to know? There you go, chap. Okay. Um, uh, and well, not that you guys super need to know. No. But uh, he has uh, sixty in shooting. Okay. So he's but he's oh. he's a good shot. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a shot at him because he started it. That's how we did it in the war. You should. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Blamo. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, that's a twenty-four. That's a crack shot with my Mauser. Kachow. Uh, yeah. Roll me some damage. I've forgotten one d eight. One to eight. Yeah. yeah. God. That's a two. So okay. just nicked him on the cheek. Blam. Yeah, you nick him on the cheek. Oh. Uh, Cuts his ear open a bit. Mm. Yeah, it goes through through the cheek, through his ear. Um, gonna yeah, a gas. Needs a doctor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Red right. Ripper, we are now kind of in a, in well, a Do I have it, though? Do I have the Tommy gun now? Yeah, you can, nice. you can pick that up. You are now <laughs> holding... Just give him one of them. Holding the Tommy gun. Yeah, I'm going to spray him. Oh, my God. Spray. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay, so you have uh, two options here. Either you can fire a burst from it, or you can fire as many bullets as you want. So you could just empty the entire magazine. I think I'm I'm running through towards this machine. I've seen a man burn to death. I'm scared, and I've had a bullet go past my ear. Otto's just fired a gun. The guy's been shot in the ear, so I'm just like grabbing the gun and just like firing wildly. Okay. <laughs> All over, like, yeah, just spraying, <laughs> spraying, spraying. He's just going to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whole so, conservatory falls in two perfect pieces. Uh, yeah, if you want to fire. Uh, so this has got a. Well, now we're getting a little bit, a little bit crunchy, but. What does crunchy mean? Uh, what, uh, just in depth in rules. What is your dex? 50. 50. So you can. Every burst of this gun will be. Five rounds because you fire Jeez. one tenth of your okay uh, of your dexterity. Uh, and how many bursts would you like to do? You could put. I th- you don't know how many rounds are left in this gun. Three about forty. But if you want to fire three three bursts, let him have it, Archie. Spray. So normally when you're spraying, uh, you get a penalty dice, but because you're at point blank range you get a, a bonus dice. So it means nice. it just cancels out and so you're just rolling straight rolls. So, you're so I don't to roll, need to roll the extra dice, I'm just no, rolling No, you're just trying yep. to roll a 25. Okay. So just whatever your normal D100. Just roll cool. the two and get a 25. All right. Job done. Get a double crit and like cut him in half or something. Oh my God. <laughs> I usually only fire blanks in the movies, so we'll see how this goes. 68. 68. Okay, that's that's a miss. Shots just peppering the wall. Flying. A, a fine vase has just exploded in the background. Oh. Again, still firing. 55. 55. Uh, the, the beautiful banister uh, out in the lobby just oh, starts no. exploding. That was the, a lovely banister. The, the, the bell uh, used for getting people's attention, that takes a hit and just flies off into the distance. Does it, yeah, does it make a ding? Yeah. Someone yeah. comes running out to see what it is. Yeah. Oh, a three! Oh, three. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a crit. Yeah. So on a crit, you will be dealing full damage. Yeah. I think a Tommy gun is like... D10 plus two or something like that. Okay. Uh, Because you did a five round burst. That's 60 points of damage. He's dead. This guy's got like 12 health. Yeah. Okay. Ripped him to Can I slice him in half down the middle with bullets? Right down the middle. Like, but this way. Yeah, vertically. Yeah, vertically. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> well, that's where I'm looking up at him, so I'm like... Uh. You spray, yeah, up between his legs. He doesn't quite oh. slosh into two pieces, yeah. but... But close enough. What a way to Shots fly out of him. <laughs> Half his head gets removed. Yeah, you have watching, like... ripped him to shreds. Well done, Archie. Bloody hell, Archie. Oh. What have you done? I <laughs> solved the problem. Make him roll sand for killing someone so gruesome. Oh, I, yeah, I think I do want a sand, sand <laughs> check. 21. 27. 27. I've got eight. I think I'm going to say you'll still lose a point, <clears throat> a point of sanity. Okay. As you have taken a life. Feels kind of good. Blammo. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going crazy because he's enjoying yeah. so much power. Uh, uh, well, shit. Well, that's him down and the other lad down. Now we got to give the machine to Mr. Sleep. Yeah. So or destroy it. The... Die. I think we should give it to Mr. Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Dalton is on the ground and he has, like, passed out. He's alive, 
but is his face is just an expression of agony. His eyes are bleeding. Can and I can I give him the old coup de grace? Is that a thing I can do? You yeah you put you him out of his misery. Hundred percent do that. Yeah, I'll shoot him in the head. Blammo. Well, there's no saving him. I'm a dimes a doctor, all right? Not a great Jesus. one. Wow. But this guy is in terrible agony. His eyes are bleeding and the heating and his <laughs> ah, just bang. This is what we used to do. Is you that know? What you what, yeah, like a horse. Patience? No, with the horses and things. Not so much <laughs> oh with the God. people. It's not a, but, uh, it's a needs, man. Uh, yeah, but the same times have changed. You know, it's the 20s. Get with the times. Uh, <laughs> it's the 20s. Just to give you some clarity on the rest of the room, everyone else has stood back against walls. Well, Absolutely now they panicked. will stay back and not fuck with us once um, we shoot this chap in the face. We it, shot both of the bad guys. It seems like Wade has fainted at some point from seeing <laughs> seeing this going on. Uh, George Pelfrey is tending to his wife. And, <laughs> and I'm still brumbling. <laughs> still <laughs> beating his wife. You beat his wife up. He threw the shit all <laughs> down the ground. Then we killed two of the other guests. Oh, he sort of went up the and we're like, how are we going to stop these monsters? <laughs> <laughs> we're the monsters. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sleep kind of approaches you. You have performed adequately. Now, away with us. Please bring... Bring the machine. Okay, we get the machine, we start to wheel it with Mr. Sleep. Yeah, in for a penny. There you uh, go. Yeah. Here's the machine. Here you go, nice Mr. Sleep. Here, yeah, Mr. Sleep. <laughs> We're uh, wheeling the machine. Cool. Is there um, any chance we could just turn it on and blast him? I think that's a terrible idea. Okay. I'm going to turn the machine on and blast him. <laughs> <laughs> no. it... I've seen it done three times now. Yeah, I'll, I'll need some kind of like mechanical. Of course. As you're tinkering, I think we're like Otto. We, what are you doing? We've I just, am going I, to I'm, handle this. I'm and for all. Nothing, anything to do with uh, this. A mechanical. That's yeah. not it. I don't know anything about mechanical stuff. I'll let you. I'll let you push it. But if it goes bad. Thirty-four. Oh, nice. What's your mechanical? Mech There's repair. mech repair. Where's mech mech? Mech repair. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, but then I could spend some luck to make that. Okay. So I'll do that. You do that and you think you've got this machine running. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sleep is, just stands there. Uh, backing away, backing away. You will bring the machine with me or you will all die. Yeah, okay, it was worth a shot. Let's go. <laughs> Taking the machine. <laughs> Bring in the machine. Um, uh, yeah, Mr. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's just stood there. Um, and so he kind of follows just behind you by five. It's a smart move. Five or yeah. six feet. Right. And you guys just head off. Head off into the woods. Uh, can I get a spot hidden type roll? 25. Nine. Oh, jeez. success. Oh, yeah. not, you the, always roll the spot. Only on that. Mm. I can't do any doctoring. I'm very lucky and I can spot things. But. Uh, you can see these, these shapes circling around you every now and again. They begin flickering with, with light. Um, it's hard to make them out of the mist. You'd almost give them a bit of a, you know, the, you can always hear the sound of wings, uh, but through the dense, the dense fog. And Mr. Sleep kind of leads you just deeper, deeper and deeper into the woods until he comes to uh, this sort of like cave, cave type thing. And he says like, into the, into the earth we go. Do we have to go into the cave? Is that part of it? <laughs> Could we not just drop it off here, go home? I, if you wish to have your award, you must. I don't really care about really your reward. Can you just so talk much. us through the next maybe five, ten minutes? What's going to happen in the in the yeah, cave? Like, what's in what's the cave? Uh, I'm already so. minted. I'm, I don't really need this. We don't really mind about the reward just so much as the living. Part. It's the living and the death. That's yeah. the bit that's troubling most of us here. I just want to get. Oh, home. I. He smiles. Assure you, you shall all live, if you help me. Okay. Well, then we'll push it into the fucking cave. <laughs> Best of luck, everyone. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> we had a good Here we run. Go. Uh, okay. Mr. Sleep is going to take you deeper, 
deeper and deeper down. Uh, and Schmutzy's with us. Deep, oh, Schmutzy. Oh, yes. Schmutzy is there. Uh, Mr. Sleep is always kind of just walking, walking behind you until you kind of make it to this, uh, this sort of crevice that just looks almost bottomless as far as you're concerned. Cast the device into the hole. Done. Let's tip it in. Yeah, we don't want it. Tell him. Yeah, he's like, you have served, you have served me well, and he just drops this bag on the ground and just walks forward and just falls, just falls into this hole. Oh, he failed his jump check. Like, <laughs> lets him. No, he just walks oh, almost we'll steps and lets him just self fall forwards and just tumbles, tumbles down. Okay, let's get the, the, the snail out of here. Just grab the bag. Grab the bag and go. Oh, oh let's have a look in the bag. What's in the bag? In the bag. The bag is heavy and it is full of sort of a revolution era gold coins. Fantastic. This, uh, there is a lot of gold in here. These things are, even at this stage, worth, this is a priceless find. Let's go. We got some money. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, we'll go. Sure. We'll go. We'll, we'll go. Get out of here. We'll go. Put the treasure in the car and get home. Uh, as you are heading oh, no. back towards the back towards the hotel, uh, you're going back through the tree line. You must have been gone for an hour at this stage. Uh, you hear the most tremendous explosion, and you make it back. Half the hotel is ruined the entirety of the parking garage is just just gone absolutely gone any of the cars that were in there have disappeared oh, the maggie Maggie. And my aston martin <laughs> oh no you uh you make it back and it is just absolute chaos God. uh but where you guys go from here is you know sort of another adventure i think we won guys we kind of did all right so i think uh yeah, I don't know if that was a true win, but it's we survived. wonderful role playing. You yeah. all lived, and uh, you did very, very well. Uh, that concludes this episode Huzzah! of Call of Cthulhu. Well played, well all of you. Thank you, Tom. You made it through you. for running that. Yeah, a red hot, red hot adventure, the Disintegrator. Well, until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. And that concludes our first campaign, Call of Cthulhu, The Disintegrator. If you'd like to see our post-game table chat, uh, you can right now by becoming a YouTube member. We really appreciate the support. It helps to make all of this stuff happen. Uh, next time on Mystery Quest, we'll be playing a completely different game with a different cast of players. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Until then, everybody. Goodbye.